Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I was busy yesterday between the flea market and running up to New Hampshire. One of my um, YouTube buddies, Kevin Berger, Kevin Bergerin. I think I said that right, Kevin. Anyway, Kevin Bergerin um, is a friend uh, of this channel, a friend from uh, YouTube, and he is downsizing so um, as part of the downsizing he decided that he wasn't going to be dealing with this Yamaha Kodiak 4x4 and one could kind of see what the problem is pretty easily right there um, so he uh, he offered it up to me, and I I went up there and get got it. He was also um, kind of consolidating tools, so I also picked up the uh, Kennedy toolbox. Gotta love the Kennedy toolbox, and uh, <laughs> this uh, this Sears guy that I'm gonna have to go to uh, Sears. There we go. I'm going to have to go to Sears and uh, see if they won't give me a new one. And he he knew from some of my videos that I like these. So he, he actually set one up with a uh, transformer on it. So this thing perfectly flashes. And I also got um, a carry, carry all. I think they call those carry alls. They You put them on top of the roof of your car to put your luggage in. And then uh, you drive at a high rate of speed and you see if it doesn't fly off and take all your luggage with it. So, there you go. So, back to this one. Um, somebody brought this to him to fix. Um, and it was already taken apart. And supposedly they were going to bring him the parts to fix it. Bring the, the head back to him to fix it. Um, and... I guess I guess the person who was going to bring him the parts, the owner of this thing, uh, passed on. He um, he ran out of time, and he and he went went on. He uh, you know no strange circumstances or anything, just passed on. And the estate did not want it. They didn't want to deal with it. And he's downsizing and all, so he didn't want to put the time and effort into it. So once again, he offered it up to me, and now it's part of my hoard. So you can see it's complete with the plastic and lights and so forth. Came with a spare set of plastics. There's the seat, which isn't too bad. And the gas tank, a spare front plastics. This is the kit <laughs> basket of uh, parts. It's got an extra piston. Plenty of extra nuts and bolts there, an extra intake manifold, part of a recoil. This is the uh, the bore, the uh, the cylinder bore, and trunk and all. So in the old days, we used to. Um, call a machine like this a basket case because the engine is taken apart and the pieces are put into a basket and when you buy it you normally get a deal on it or when somebody gives it gives one of these to you you normally get a pretty good deal on them because you have to figure out how to put the whole thing back together again now where the issues come in with a bike like this what is it worth compared to what is it going to cost you to put it together? Even though, in this case, he gave it to me and I, I have no investment. So, obviously it's missing the head and whatever pieces that are related to that. And the recoil. And the muffler. Right. So I see that much missing right, right off the top of my head. Um, so what I need to do with this thing, I need to get it off the truck, obviously, and I need to find a VIN number. And once I have the VIN number, then I could start looking into the availability of parts, right, and getting a manual. Now, I've 
really not had great luck uh, putting these together after such a, a situation. I've had buddies who've had pretty good luck, but they're two-wheel drive, chain drive, and you buy a whole motor and put it on. <laughs> and there's not much challenge to that. I mean, really fixing what's here is where the challenge lies. So the way I, I'm going to do it is um, once it's off and I determine some kind of availability of parts, I'm going to get the owner's manual and sit down and kind of go through these nuts and bolts and figure out what I have and what I need. What it looks like I need, I definitely need um, four of those. I, I definitely need the, the head cam valves gear that goes on it looks like I have the cover um, so I need the whole the whole top end I can't I can't just buy like a rebuilt head I gotta I gotta get a used one that's complete hopefully off of running quad so I have to start out with that while I'm in there I'm probably gonna do a timing chain well forget probably I will do a timing chain and that and the gasket set and I need to take a look at that exhaust to see if I can fake a muffler for it. If not, I'm going to have to. That's 400 cc's. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find a muffler. Anyway, back to it. So, I'm going to get the manual first. And I'm going to meticulously, hopefully, sit there and check off each piece that I could get. Every nut, bolt, shim, on and on and on. And then I'm going to put it together and there is an electric starter here somewhere, I hope. Hmm, not. Oh, there it is, yeah. So, and then we'll, uh, we'll put it all together and we'll, we'll see what it'll do. Um, What's scary about this type of situation is before you even know if it's got a blown front end or rear end or transmission or clutch or the carburetor is any good and all that, before you even figure that out, you got to tie some money up into it. So that's what gets scary. These things around me, um, I see people asking, you know, around 1500 bucks for them. Um, so, let's say what, you can find one for 12 that's in approximately this condition. Well, that, that tells you the top end of the value, right? Um, and, you know, this thing looks like it can use some tires, too. It may... It, it, it could be when I'm done listing everything else where listing everything out where it gets hard to uh, to justify doing the work it'd be a shame because in its day this was a nice a nice quad um, just a couple of things if I may ask if anybody has one of these out there if they could tell me I I have no experience with the Kodiak 4x4 I mean, is it a nice quad? Um, do you high, low, and reverse, and then it's it's got a shifter here, so it doesn't look like you can disengage the. Uh, does, it doesn't look like the. Um, it could be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel drive low, four wheel drive lock differential it doesn't look like it does that so anyway if anybody has one of these if you could tell me what you think of it um, does it 
does it pay to put a lot of time and effort into? If anybody has one of these in parts, maybe complete, maybe they seized it up or something and they want to move it real reasonable, I'd appreciate that. If by looking at the um, like gas tank decal and seat, look at the gas count, gas tank and seat, particularly these plastics are an awful if um if you could look at that and tell me what year it is I'd appreciate that I think it's from something around 2000 2002 2001 2002 I think I don't know I haven't dug it up so if anybody has any information out there I'd I'd appreciate it I'd uh it make some of my decisions a little easier and in the meantime, just give me your thoughts in general. I want to thank everybody for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.